What's up people, it's your boy Andrew FAQ and before I start the video, I want to say today we're doing it in a different scene we're here, the weather's better today so hopefully the weather holds out because usually it's raining in the UK but let's get to the video, I'm excited for this one, let's go! Today we're going to discuss in 5 style mistakes that men do that is a put off for women Let's get to the video So mistake number 1 Do not wear a fedora Man listen, I don't know how many times I see guys rocking this fedora hat Guys listen we're in 2023 now We're not in the 60s where you're wearing a fedora hat Women find that lame Obviously it depends on the girl, some girls might find that attractive But the majority of girls are going to see you as a lame guy because you're wearing a fedora hat it's not in style it's not in fashion guys avoid wearing those hats i've gone out and i've seen guys rocking it and it looked like nerds i'm thinking are you trying to pull chicks or are you just trying to look like a clown out here avoid wearing those type of hats guys you don't want to be wearing a hat yeah that makes you look like you're trying to look like from the 60s or 80s avoid wearing those type of hats mistake number two guys i see guys wearing athletes trainers with formal fit man I'm not gonna lie to you, yeah. when I see that, I'm just thinking you don't know how to dress. If you're gonna wear an athlete's trainers, make sure you're gonna rock a gym fit to fit that. If you're gonna rock a formal suit, don't wear, Ni don't wear Nike runners with a formal suit. It doesn't go together, guys. You gotta be rocking that, yeah, with a nice, other, a, a, like you can see my style right now, I'm wearing slim fit jeans, rocking it with some low loafers. That goes together. You're gonna be rocking suit wear, <laughs> with trainers yeah. i've seen guys do that and it's a lame lame way of doing it avoid rocking those types of outfits you're going to come across as a lame you're not going to look attractive to women and overall you're going to ruin your overall style avoid wearing athletes trainers <laughs> with formal suits it is not in style and unless you're trying to run for a train or something but do not be wearing it man because you don't look like you know how to dress make sure you're rocking it if you're rocking a formal suit wear that with some loafers that's going to bring out your style even more if you're going to watch some athletes trainers you wear that with a gym outfit keep it simple keep it nice and attractive mistake number three do not and i repeat do not wear nerdy glasses only a few people can pull it off the nerdy look and it still makes them look attractive as you can see my glasses are see-through you can it gives you that sort of transparency you can see my eyes still but it's not in a way that it covers my eyes you can see that i can still look at you and you can still see my eyelids as well some people wear nerdy glasses but only a few people can actually pull that off and if it doesn't suit your style do not pull it off because you come across as a nerd and trust me it's not attractive to women only a few women might find that nerdy look attractive but you've got to know how to pull it off if you don't know how to pull it off you're going to look very nerdy and you're going to look like you've never had a date in your life the boy wearing nerdy glasses you make you look like a geek and trust me being a geek here is not attractive to women only a certain demographic of women gonna find that geeky look attractive. But if you're trying to, um, if you're trying to pinpoint a, a specific demographic, demographic of women, do not wear the geeky glasses. Wear something that's gonna bring out your look. It's gonna make you look more fashionable, in trend. And like we say, we're in 2023 now, so you can wear something that's transparent. These glasses that I'm wearing, Tom Ford, transparent glasses. You can see my eyes still, and it gives you a sort of upmarket, classy look. One of my favorite glasses that I like wearing. Make sure you pick the right glasses that suits your face because it's going to emphasize your looks. Mistake number four, <laughs> and it's to never button your shirt up right up to your neck. Guys, listen, only if you're trying to do an interview for a formal job, then you need to button your shirt up and wear a, wear a tie. But more times, style is to have it at least two buttons down so you can show a bit of chest. That's going to give you a bit more attractiveness. It's going to make you look more confident, especially when you're going out to a bar setting or a formal setting when you want to look more you're going to hire your SMVs and you want the more sexually appealing to the opposite sex. If you're buttoning up all the way to the neck, you're going to look like you don't know how to dress. You're going to look like you're going to an interview. And if you're not going to an interview, make sure that you're dropping at least two buttons down. Me, when I'm wearing my suits, I want to show a bit of chest to show that the workout's there, you know. If it's Chris, have the button flyers a bit open. You want to be sort of emphasizing that attractiveness or you're appealing to the opposite sex. But if you're having it all up to your neck, you're gonna look like you don't know what you're doing. It's all tight, you can't really breathe. <laughs> Avoid doing that. Make sure your buttons are down, at least three buttons down, so you will empower your look and you'll look more attractive to females. Mistake number five, and it's wearing long shorts. Guys, listen, I've seen guys wearing long shorts and they're covering the whole leg. Guys, 
you want to be showing at least with me and work, work your legs make sure you're working your legs in the gym so you can have your shorts at least five inches to the, to the ground not to not to your kneecaps because that's going to show uh, you're going to show like you're doing some sort of basketball game there don't be doing some long ass shorts like about to hit a basketball game make sure your shorts show a bit of leg so you can show the cuts in your leg show the in, in rain in your leg so when you're all doing a run or you're trying to do like some sort of workout Female's gonna see that leg and be like, right, this guy knows how to dress. He knows how to show his muscles. Because if you're if you're there having the long shorts, you're obviously trying to hide your skinny legs. So hit the gym, hit legs. Don't skip leg days, guys. I know a lot of guys are skipping leg days. Don't skip legs. You want your legs to be showing the cuts in your legs so you can emphasize your look. Improve your look. That will allow you to wear those type of shorts where you it's not too long to the ground. You're showing a bit of uh, your, your muscle definitions. That's gonna increase your SMB to females. You're gonna look overall better, and you can now where to rock it. When you rock it now, you're gonna become more confident rocking lower shorts. That's it, guys. Five star mistakes you should avoid doing. Hope you enjoyed this video. Click on the subscribe button. Listen, guys, I appreciate everyone that subscribed to this channel. Keep on joining the team. We are growing as a community, leveling up men, and overall becoming better, guys, for yourselves. And overall, we're gonna be helping you gain more confidence to attract females. If you like this video, click the subscribe button, hit the next button. Next time, 